Namaste. Namaste, family. Welcome. Let us dive deep a little bit or much into our ascension. It's eclipse time, triple eclipse. And it's time of intense energies, intense light codes, intense activations that brings up intense ascension symptoms, you know, intense ascension situations and ascension drama, I call it. Ascension symptoms, symptoms we all know. Being tired, not sleeping, having pains and illnesses that you cannot explain that pop up and come and go and like that. We can feel this now in these times very much, you know. Headaches, agitations, fevers, lack of sleep, back pain. All sorts of things that are maybe not in alignment within us or just a symptom of upgrade. At that ascension situations, what I mean, life testing us with 3D hardships. We are of this world, of not of this world. Our life situations change, something ends that was always part of our lives. Some situation comes our way and we have to deal with it. That's our ascension situations. And ascension drama with other people who are close to us or friends or just with people who mess with our vibration. So. These are the kind of themes now. Anyway, I don't know what I will speak on lunar eclipse on 27th because this is the kind of theme. You know, everything is going on now. You have everything on all levels now. Ascension symptoms, ascension <laughs> drama, ascension situations. Time is such. Everything is steered up. Whatever is not in alignment is shown to us, thrown at us. And more and more we are in that consciousness, in that state of being the master. More and more these situations are not so heavy. And we deal with them in different way. We defeat them. More and more we have to do still work on that level that situations come. More and more there is drama. More and more there is panic and fear and madness. More and more. And with ascension symptoms, more and more we run to doctors for everything that hurts us just to find out that they don't know what it is. And I kind of find now all these ascension situations. Symptoms come and everything. Oh, yes, I feel like shit even today. But just because of that, I feel that symptoms and being tired and some situations very heavily these days. And I just decided in that state of being so tired and messed up making a video, you know. I'm kind of ex excited. Yes, it hurts. Head hurts, neck maybe hurts, back hurts, uh, tired, not sleeping, hot, everything burning. Uh, I feel excited. Oh, something great is happening. huh? These are the activations, the upgrades. This, I'm going to another level again. That's from enlightenment state of consciousness, you see like this. The pains comes and like this, yes, the mind want to say something. Mind will always assume and tell you that you are sick and like this, but always inside that 
my true voice that I am prevails, you know. It's okay. It's healing. It's upgrade. It's nothing. Just relax. Everything will be okay. Hold on. And I follow that. And I get excited. Something is healing. Something is upgraded. Everything is okay. And I'm very sensitive, you know, I'm very sensitive. So ascension situations and ascension drama, I don't like. But still, I grow through it always. This is how I grow. This is how my steel is tested. With opposition of others. With situations in life. Yes, mine again worries. But you have no security. How you know what you are doing unconditionally now is to provide you for next month? Huh? Uh, you will go that. Mind is mind is a rascal. Mind is a rascal. Mind is mind will always tell you worst case scenarios and everything in all the life situations because mind is of 3D fear based reality. And if separated from the heart, this is problem because mind rules. In my case, I just tell him, come on, shut up, please. Just shut up. And I know in the heart everything is to be okay and I don't have to know it how. You know. But yes, it's not pleasant. It's tests are not pleasant in situations and anything. But you know, as I see in my situations through these three years, as I depend on God's mercy unconditionally, what I see that everything gets resolved. If I have faith and I do my work, I have faith in myself. I don't go into fear and follow fear. I don't go into panic, but I deal with it and do what I'm here to do and ask unconditionally for help and just relax. That's how I see my situations. And they get resolved by the ways that mind cannot comprehend. Mind wants security, mind wants it now, we have to have it now, everything labeled like that to, you know. Mind makes problems to us on all levels. With ascension symptoms, mind scares us. You are sick, you will die. You have this, you have that. And you know. And then we go to doctors and they don't understand crystalline base changes and chemicals that are releasing in our body. And they tell us that we are very sick. And then, but we are not. We are ascending. The mind is to make Mind can create very big problems. And in situations, just we have to relax, do our work, trust. Mind will run us into panic and fear. And then out of fear, we will do something fear-based. You know, we will stop following the heart. Situations are like this. An ascension drama, but I was speaking this yesterday on it very deeply. Yeah, about relationships, which is now so much predominant. And so many heartbroken, so much drama, so many separations, divorces, and many explosions. But like I said yesterday in my video, you know, it's, it's all just holding on to the old. We want to keep old ways of controlling each other, being so much attached to each other. You owe to me, you belong to me, I belong to you. And fearing of losing and depending on that love, happiness, that I am myself in another. And we won't let it go. 
and it becomes heavy. So what I choose, I don't have these situations and drama, but I choose to spend my time rather than uh, to give something, to give my word, to help those navigate through this very turbulent times. We have heavy upgrades and activations which cause heavy symptoms, insomnia, being tired, in the night, beloved angels, things are happening. You wake up tired and exhausted and then life strikes you with situations and people with drama, it's all packed together. <laughs> so, I try to do my best to shed some light because I'm not suffering in situations, in drama, in situations. I could suffer if I would trust my mind, but I trust everything is to be all right, regardless how it looks this moment. So situation doesn't affect me. I do my work. I do rather my work like I'm doing now, helping, because we are in this together. We are in this together. Hmm. Let me just return a little bit to symptoms. I'm jumping here and there, no problem. We are free. We can jump here and there, like movies. <laughs> so, symptoms. Yeah, many can say yes, but what if I'm really sick? What if something is really wrong? I have to go to doctor. I have to see what it is. I have to. Well, this is delicate, yes. Usually if you trust that voice in your heart, you will feel the feeling, everything is okay. And you can go from that. I believe everything can heal if we have faith. Even if something is wrong. We can heal everything. In our body, everything is to heal and ascend. Like some of us, consciousness ascended and our bodies are following now and going crazy. Everything can heal and everything shall heal and everything shall transform into new form, crystalline-based form. Every carbon-based cell in body is to be replaced with crystalline body of light, crystalline cell. It's pain free, confusion free, darkness free, free of suffering, free of everything, third dimensional. Carbon-based is, what is carbon-based? Carbon-based is darkness. It doesn't, how to say, <clears throat> yeah, why well, I'm not American. It doesn't <laughs> serve light. It doesn't wire light. Light does not come through like a copper wire. The electricity goes through wire, through plastic doesn't go. Like carbon, light, doesn't pass. So light is all around us. We are in carbon body. But we are not receiving the light. light. Light is information. So we don't know. We are lost in carbon body. We are afraid. Separated, living in mind, thinking, assuming, having opinions and all these things. And we are not connected. And this body is darkness, carbon-based darkness, every cell, and it tends to become sick, tend to have all kinds of problems. And that's why the body is dying off, and uh, crystalline-based cells 
by replacing every cell in every organ, every bone, every tissue of the body. That means total transformation. That means everything is to be replaced. Everything is replaced gradually. So symptoms are just that. We have faith, everything is to heal in this process. So have to have faith, have to do our work, have to trust. I'm healing, I'm ascending physically, not only consciously, I'm changing into crystalline based being. And crystalline based cells are transparent and light goes through, like copper wire electricity goes through. Light is no more separated, it becomes one with the crystal that your body is, as ascended more and more. And the information, the light fills up every cell and you are knowing wisdom like yourself. Everything is known through you. Everything is known by the light. You understand? In carbon based, I don't know you, I don't see you, I don't see in your head. I don't know what you're thinking, what we are feeling, you can fool me. You can lie to me, think and feel something else, speak something else and write and I believe it. Well, this was my reality before. In crystalline body, everything is clear in the light, crystal clear. Light is all around me, light passes through me in ascended human form. Nothing is hidden. What is within others, we are one field of consciousness. All the information that is within every each and one of us, and they think we cannot see, we cannot hear, we cannot feel, everything is in the light, on the light, everything is in the air. And as we, as light passes through us, all around us, we feel everything. No one can lie to us anymore. No one can deceive us. No one can tell us something. Yeah, but you know, I was doing just that. You know, I did not. No one can do that anymore. When you are on that stage and you have really big percentage of crystalline based cells in your body already. No one can do this. Everything is clear in the light. We are transparent to one another also. We are on the same consciousness. I see you, you see me. No problem. Other thing, we cannot see each other and cannot see them. This is ascension. But baby, this is ascension. This is the reality. This, is, this was no sci-fi video game or some fantasy that we just were playing with and here. No, this is real. And it's real for those who choose to be real. A faith and <laughs> poor sometimes telling you even science, huh? but in very simple way so you can understand how everything is known on the light, how we all are one. We are transparent, we are the light, everything is light. We are light beings and we are one light. And that light passes through us. I am you, you are me, I see you, you see me. That's ascended to reality. And that's what's going on. And that's why I'm excited with all the symptoms, because I know, oh, here we go again. <laughs> Something is happening again. I wake up on another level. Just wait a few days. Just let it little shaky, baby. Let it shake a little bit <laughs> and break. With drama and situations, same. I am to master this. I have to learn how to do this. I am to deal with it with clarity and peace, no panic, with no fear. And I am to see how everything is to change. So yes, the mind produces some fear and everything in situations that we face in changes and in tests. But in the heart we feel excitement. Oh, this will take you on another level once again. <laughs> so like this, everything is good. 
And more and more you are out of that light, more and more you trust, more and more and more your mind is getting silent, you cannot hear it so much. It's still babbling same shit. More and more you are that trust in your heart. <laughs> That's like that. It's worth it to do the work. It's worth it to have faith. It's worth it to know nothing is wrong, just it's times of heavy activations heavy purges, situations and drama with people, our close ones or just with people, are just a sign that old energy, old ways, uh, karma, and all this messing with each other business is no more allowed. And uh, those who are doing that get their lessons not to do that anymore. And we get our lessons if we are free of that you know like this not old ways of security old ways of doing things but trust and do from the heart i'm really doing a <laughs> video for the full moon <laughs> eclipse <laughs> all the things i'm saying <laughs> well like that this is what is happening, you know. Have to look at it from a positive, from a master point of view. This came here because God knows I can do it. I can jump over it I can conquer it. It's only a challenge. It's excitement. So I can get, be more free. So I can trust more, so I can come to another level, step into my power, and do. <sighs> Ascension drama with people, relationships. I mean, if you want to listen to that, yesterday's video, very long, one hour, something. It's there, just about that. So I won't speak about it now in this video let me save some things for the full moon eclipse video also but this is the theme for the for the eclipse i have to write in the as, as mark that this is really guidance for this eclipse season also so like that Don't fall under what is life giving you. Don't go into fear. Okay, I was speaking about relationships yesterday. So I can give a bit few words about drama with other people. Which is now very much predominant. Very much predominant, you know. Well, hey, I have a... Now I, I'm not naked. So nobody will get blocked for judging <laughs> I have a very nice shirt, a lion, which is a rainbow, giving love only. Beautiful. <laughs> I love that shirt. God blessed me with few of these shirts. I'm so happy, like a little child. <laughs> so, drama. People. Oh, face drama now. I face drama. These days. What is going on is masculine energy very much. Unstable. Unbalanced. And many other people cannot deal with what is happening on in their drama, their situations, their activations, uh, their attachments, and and they have to attack those to leave them alone, and are here to help them. I faced in these few days. Many of such situations on here. Just to test my steel. I'm very sensitive. This is not for me. I feel into it more than they feel it. They are maybe not so disturbed like I am. And it was too much. And it's already 20, 20 which is one? 20, first is today, 22nd. And it's <laughs> on 27th, it's eclipse, full moon. And it's already felt so much that you cannot believe, you know. 
but it's actually people more and more not healed more and more they don't face and do they don't want to face themselves they want to they don't want to face and do their work more and more they have to attack those that done their work you know working now so others can do their work because they won't kind of do the work or I don't know why I've seen so many cases Ascension situations, ascension drama also comes from old beliefs. People are dwelling, having old religious hate, old religious beliefs, dwelling or religion or hating it. It's all the same thing. And they want the old ways to remain, you know. And that's how enlightened masters get tested in this world because. They can feel this and they are very religious in their own truth, belief of separation in one true religion. And they feel this, oh, the devil, the devil, he's saying he's God. <laughs> they don't understand even from which level and what it means. They would judge Jesus in the same way, I give you my word, they would crucify him if they could. But they cannot. Uh, so, it's too much for many people, the reality became very strict, they realized they cannot, the old ways are suffering, but they want the old ways, and it's not working anymore, people are awakening, the world is changing, and they want to hold on to old ways. And then they lash out to people who are loved, just like Jesus Christ was. But you know, they cannot crucify anybody. And it's all just invitation for us. It's, it's a test how much you are master. Will you deal with it like a master? Nice, stepping in your power, not allowing them to do what you do to them. Or if you decide to talk it out, you just, in most polite and nice and lovely way, in power, say your will. This is my truth. This is my way. I don't want nothing from you, but this you will not do to me because I don't do this to you. Like I said, if you're a Christian, I said Jesus Christ never opposed anyone and he knew everyone. He never judged never hate it so if you say you follow that then be like jesus don't attack others let god judge me but if you do this here you are gone in five minutes or before let's know this like this respect love power no disrespect just letting them know how it is if you decide to do that but you don't have to you can just remove yourself from the drama and remove them. You know, and in this way, you step in your power. You're no more slave. You're no more torment. You're no more somebody others escape from. You're no more somebody that knows that God loves them in the heart and all the heavens, but others kick me and I allow them. You're no more that you're a lion you love everyone as a lion and if somebody messes with you I don't mess with a lion because messes lion doesn't mess with anyone lion stands in his power roars and it's finished you can do that also both ways are okay they come from the state of love and they teach something If we want to proceed with that first way in the ascension drama with other people that mess with us, then we have to really be really on master level, that we are able to express clearly, nicely, politely and with power 
dance like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Like that, that respect is found love, but your will and your power, we can reflect that so they can see themselves. We have that power, then we can indulge in it. If not, if we know we will only go into drama and get drained, we remove ourselves and remove the situation. And drama and dramatics from our lives, people who cause drama. More. It's I'm speaking mostly on social media, battlefields, so <laughs> and holy wars and all these things, jihad. <laughs> oh God! We decide, but in no way we are tested. If we allow ascension drama to go on and us to get drained, we just send signal to God that we are not masters, that we are slaves, and we still need more tests like that from other people to kick us and judge us, that we will realize that only God can judge us and God knows us, and we answer only to no one else but God, and explain ourselves to no one else, and help only those that open their heart and want help from us. We have to realize that. We have to realize just that. And more and more we are in our power, more less and less is essential drama going on. Like that. So, and what is important to say, people are going through their own activations, their own drama, their own situations. And like I said, the old ways are not working anymore. They feel frustrated. They feel lost. They feel but, but they don't want the new ways. They don't want to let go. And then some of them on that level of dark nights of the soul, some of them do their work, go through it, go through their hell. Others just cannot accept it and they go attack people that could help them and cause drama. We have to understand that. Father, forgive them. They do not know what they're doing. Love them as you love themselves and love yourself as you love them. That's also important. Don't let nobody hate you, judge you. Oppose you, you pass the test of ascension drama, you step in your power. Like that. Nobody's crucifying you. You have the whip in your hand, you can whip the marketplace. No problem. If they fuck with you in your house. So, that's all. You're a master. And it's all twist of all energies together. Ascension symptoms, ascension situations, ascension drama. When even one of them is enough to handle and heavy enough. And we don't need drama with heavy activations and symptoms and situations. But hey, we got it all because we can do it. We are masters of this illusion. We are mastering it. And we are doing it together and that's why I'm making this video. We inspire to give some hope, faith. You can do it also. And like my grandfather said, he said, grandson, you know, never is so fucked up that it could not be more fucked up. Remember that. He said it. It is true. Always when you think it's bad, it could be worse. What is the problem? Look, he, this was very wise word. And he was crippled for 40 years in bed, could not walk with wounds all over his leg, legs that never closed suffering. And this was his optimism. That's why he lived. 30, 40 years more than doctors said. 
like this. He had faith, and he was strong. And he was, he had it most fucked up, but he said it could, it's never so fucked up that it could not be more. That's why he lived so long and he taught me so much in life. That's why only. Like that. And always in the morning, beloved angels, sun is to rise. Sun is to rise in the morning. After all these situations, what I'm realizing always that uh, this how what will come out of this what is this oh no is shit and always after the greater brighter warmer lovelier sun rises that sun is you that sun is me yeah uh, no we can do it just like that regardless of the situation the activation the symptom the drama we are love and love is the law and love has won there's no other way for us but to win. <laughs> so like that. Please be blessed always like I am. If you are inspired, then my work is done and I'm happy. And if you feel inspired to support my work and my situations <laughs> so I can do my work more, every single coin is happy. But I'm not telling anybody nothing because love is free. I believe if I give for free and have faith, I will get for free also, so I can give for free more. Blessed be all as I am. Namaste. Namaste. And we please more blessed seven more times. Namaste. Namaste.